Hello students, welcome to our class again and this time we're going to talk about finite and non-finite verbs, especially reducing adjective clauses into phrases. Finite means limited. Finite verbs are the verbs that are limited by the tenses or the verb must change if the tense changes. For example, we walk to school every day. Here, we use walk verb 1 because it happens in the present form. And then, we must change the verb walk into walked or verb 2 in we walked to school yesterday because it happened in the past situation. Therefore, the finite verb walk changes when the tense or time is different. Non-finite or non-limited Non-finite verbs are the verbs that are not limited by the tense or the time. For example, I am happy to see you. We use it in the present form. In the past form, we say, she was happy to see you. The non-finite verb to see does not change even though the tense changes. Other examples. The lady wearing a yellow hat is my aunt. The lady wearing a yellow hat came late this morning. The lady wearing a yellow hat will buy me chocolate. The non-finite verb wearing does not change although it is used in different times or tenses. When do we use non-finite verbs? We often use non-finite verbs in causative verbs and when we reduce adjective and adverbial clauses into phrases. Reducing adjective clauses Please remember, clause is the same as sentence, which has subject and verb. For example, Kim loves badminton. Kim plays badminton after she finishes her class. In these two sentences, Kim is the subject and loves is the verb. And then, the next sentence, Kim is the subject, plays is the verb. And also, in the next subclause, after she finishes her class, she is the subject, finishes is a verb. However, a phrase is different from a clause. A phrase does not have subject and verb. For example, in the living room, the wooden chair, a crying baby. So these phrases do not have subject nor verb. Reducing adjective clauses to adjective phrases. Please pay attention to the rules. Rule number one, both main sentence and subclause must have the same subject. Number two, connector or relative pronoun who or which must be deleted. Number three, if the clause contains to be, the to be must be deleted. Number four, if the clause does not contain to be, the verb must take the in form or verb in. Number five, if the clause requires commas, the phrase also requires commas. And number six, this is a note. A phrase which is a noun that follows another noun is called an appositive. Let's continue with some examples. Let's start with the main rule. The subject of the clause must be the same as the subject of the subclause. For example, the student who is presenting his project prepared it a week before. We can change it into the student presenting his project prepared it a week before. The original sentences are the student is presenting his project. He prepared it a week before. In these two sentences, we can understand that the student and he refer to the same person. Therefore, we can change it into phrase. However, in the second sentence, the lady is holding a bag which you have made. This sentence cannot be changed into phrase or we cannot reduce it into phrase because the subject is different. 
because we can see in the original sentences, the lady is holding a bag, you have made it. The lady and you refer to different person. Reducing adjective clauses to adjective phrases with to be. Example 1. The children who are eating in the dining room are very hungry. It becomes, the children eating in the dining room are very hungry. Example 2. The boy who was wearing an orange t-shirt loved basketball. It becomes, the boy wearing an orange t-shirt loved basketball. Sample 3. The boys who are in the field go to the same school. It becomes, the boys in the field go to the same school. Sample 4. I have never met the person who is responsible for the new program. It becomes, I have never met the person responsible for the new program. Therefore, we can confirm the rules 1. The connector must be the same person as the subject of the main clause. The second rule, the connectors who or which are deleted. And then number three, B form is deleted. Reducing adjective clauses to adjective phrases without to be. Sample one, the two women who worked in the same office had visited Paris. It becomes... The two women working in the same office had visited Paris. Sample 2. The table which separated the two areas has been removed. It becomes, the table separating the two areas has been removed. Sample 3. Wendy played with the cat which scratched her foot. It becomes, Wendy played with the cat scratching her foot. In these examples, we can confirm the rules that the connector must be the same person as the subject of the main clause, connectors who or which are deleted, and the use of verb in. Reducing adjective clauses to adjective phrases with comma or commas. Sample 1. Corey, who lives two blocks from my house, plays piano very well. It becomes, Cory, living two blocks from my house, plays piano very well. Sample 2. My sister, who is the manager of the hotel, has to revise all the regulations due to the new protocol. It becomes, my sister, the manager of the hotel, has to revise all the regulations due to the new protocol. So you can see that, Commas are used both in the clause and also in the phrase. Remember, the phrase which is the same as the noun modified, it is called a positive. Let's do an exercise. Combine the two sentences into one sentence using adjective clause and reduce the clause into a phrase, if possible. Number 1. Transportation Minister Budi Karya Sumadi urged the aviation industry to use alternative ways to promote air travel. He spoke at the same discussion. Number 2. A survey found that 80% of 500 respondents were erring on the side of caution and taking a wait-and-see approach toward embarking on air travel. It was released by AP1 in July. Number three, students reported the home learning program to be even more stressful than regular classrooms. Regular classes may have been difficult. Number four, the online classes work differently from those in the U.S. The online classes are implemented in Indonesia. Number five, many students also say that the workload of online classes is larger than that of regular classes. The students are participating in home learning programs. Let's check the answers. Transportation Minister Budikarya Sumadi urged the aviation industry to use alternative ways to promote air travel. He spoke at the same discussion. 
We can combine these two sentences into one clause. Transportation Minister Budi Karyadi, who spoke at the same discussion, urged the aviation industry to use alternative ways to promote air travel. And this clause can be changed or can be reduced into a phrase, Transportation Minister Budi Karya Sumadi, speaking at the same discussion, urged the aviation industry to use alternative ways to promote air travel. Number 2. A survey found that 84% of 500 respondents were erring on the side of caution and taking a wait-and-see approach toward embarking on air travel. It was released by AP1 in July. These two sentences can be combined into an adjective clause. A survey which was released by AP1 in July found that 84% of 500 respondents were erring on the side of caution and taking a wait-and-see approach toward embarking on air travel. And this can be reduced into a phrase. A survey released by AP1 in July found that 84% of 500 respondents were erring on the side of caution and taking a wait-and-see approach toward embarking on air travel. Number 3. Students reported the home learning program to be even more stressful than regular classrooms. Regular classes may have been difficult. We can combine these two sentences into Students reported the home learning program to be even more stressful than regular classroom, which may have been difficult. However, this sentence cannot be changed into or cannot be reduced into a phrase. Why? Because the subjects are different. As we can see, the first sentence has student as the subject and the second sentence has regular classes as the subject. Number 4. The online classes work differently from those in the US. The online classes are implemented in Indonesia. In these two sentences, we can understand that both sentences have the same subject, which is the online classes. Therefore, we can change it into a clause and into a phrase. The clause, the online classes which are implemented in Indonesia, work differently from those in the US. And then, we can reduce it into phrase, the online classes implemented in Indonesia work differently from those in the US. Number 5. Many students also say that the workload of online classes is larger than that of regular classes. The students participate in home learning programs. These two sentences can be combined into using clause. Many students who participate in home learning programs also say that the, of, that the workload of online classes is larger than that of regular classes. And then we can change it into a phrase. Many students participating in home learning programs also say that the workload of online classes is larger than that of regular classes. Thank you for your attention. Keep your surrounding people healthy. God bless you.